Right now, I'm in a beautiful city of a beautiful town of Fayetteville, Georgia. Folks, right now, I am here at Truex Lau. Truex Lau is actually Chick fil A. But what's great about this place right now, folks, is that this Chick fil A serves beef sandwiches, so hamburgers with a little bit of Hawaiian twist to it. So, folks, right now, I'm going to go check out this place here at the Truex Lau, right behind me, folks, here in Fayetteville, Georgia, folks. And let me see what this place is all about. Apparently, they have some really good tropical food from Hawaii, okay? With a little bit of twist of Chick-fil-A. Never been here before. So let's go check it out. Stay locked. Stay tuned for another episode here, folks, on the Taste Test. This is your boy, Craig, right now, tasting some good food all the way from Fayetteville, Georgia. Stay tuned. I ordered myself one of the uh, the truest Lau burger, which comes with pineapple bacon and um, the Kobe Jack cheese. So, first time here at the Chick Fil A in Truist and um, um, Lau here in Fayetteville, Georgia, and um, pretty smooth operation over here, folks. I'm gonna go check it out live now in a few minutes and tell you guys what I think about it. Okay, get my number, boop, we'll set aside, and let's make it happen. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Very, very nice place, very clean, very professional, as the Chick-fil-A always are. Always very nice to people. Customer service is always amazing over here, folks. So I'm just gonna go out here. It's so beautiful out here. I just wanna show you guys so much about this place. I mean, it's got that little vibe over here. It's got that um, waterfall in the background. There's a big old highway behind me, okay? And you wouldn't even know that you are here at a highway. It is just so peaceful in the back here. It's like sitting in somebody's backyard and um, just chilling out there and and you don't even hear anything in the back there. Well, you hear a big old truck in the back there. But anyway, um, beanbags, you can play some beanbags over here, as you can see, right behind me. Um, and then we have this little peaceful uh, little waterfall behind me um, with the Truett sign right there. Some nice little uh, beach chairs. Just give it like, a cool little vibe. So in a moment, I'll be having my burger. My first burger, beef burger from a Chick-fil-A, which is pretty awesome. So I'm looking forward to it, guys. So I got the Chick-fil-A. I'm here at Chick-fil-A having my my burger. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny, huh, when you think about Chick-fil-A, folks. I got the, the waffle fries. Yeah, nothing special about them. Let me... This is like regular waffle fries you get from any Chick-fil-A. Um, but... The reason why we're here is to try the burger, all right? See? Beautiful. Looks like we got some Colby cheese, bacon, and a slice of pineapple on it. Really pretty good. Um, okay. And of course, we have all our <clears throat> sauces. We have barbecue, garden herb ranch, zesty buff buffalo, the classic Chick fil A sauce, Polynesian, you know, and um, honey mustard. What's the other one we got here? 
sweet and spicy sriracha. I'm going to try the Polynesian because it's got a little island vibe to it, okay? <laughs> yeah, so like I was saying, I'm going to try them out and see what it's, what it's all about, all right? I mean, for me personally, I don't think that's it, it, it's the most amazing burger ever, okay? It's pretty average. But just the fact we're having a, a beef burger at a Chick-fil-A is pretty awesome, actually, okay? Um, obviously, I tasted the Kobe cheese. Um, I tasted the, the, the grilled pineapple with the beef patty um, and the bacon, of course. But it's a little um, on the dry side. I wish that Chick-fil-A could have done a better job by maybe putting on maybe like a, some sort of um, Hawaiian sauce or something that's tropical, I guess. You know what I mean? I got my, my French Polynesian um, um, sauce over here and stuff. So I might have to dip in, into it a little bit so I can get a little bit of uh, that taste, whatever, you know. Um, it does give it a nice little tangy sweet taste but, and it definitely goes down a little bit better down my throat but like I said before um, the burger is pretty it's pretty decent I personally uh, would give this burger about a, I would say a 5 out of 10. Yeah, Chick-fil-A, come on, man. Step your game up, okay? All right, I know that you guys do the the, chick, the chicken sandwiches. You guys are the creator of the chicken sandwich. I get it, okay? Nobody can take that away from you guys. You guys have done an awesome job. But the beef burger, I would say I give it a 5 out of 10. It's pretty dry. Um, I wish it came with a sauce or something, you know what I mean? I wish it came with maybe it would... I don't know, with lettuce, tomatoes, maybe a little onion, some with the obviously with the pineapple, something to make it a little bit more. I don't know. It's just missing out so much. And the sandwich by itself, I think it was like eight dollars and change or something. Yeah, I'm still sticking to my guns. Five out of ten. I had to put a little bit of sauce on here, the Polynesian sauce, to make it go down a little bit better down my throat because it's pretty dry, you know. And um, the waffle fries, pretty average. Nothing to it, you know, like you would get from any Chick Fil A. So that's my review on the on the um this um Chubut's um Lao Burger. You know, nothing special. Just the fact that I came out here to try it out, to let you guys know what I think about it, you know. I'm, I'm, like I said before, I, I'm Mr. Kathy, which is the, the founder that I think he passed away in 2014. He went to the islands of Hawaii and he wanted to bring a little bit of flavor to um, Fayetteville, Georgia, and um, bring that little bit of Hawaiian vibe down here in the, in the south. But like I said, I wish they could have done a better job. I bet there's probably better um, things on the menu to bring that little wine flavor back here. But for me right now, the sandwich, 5 out of 10. Okay? That's just my opinion. Chick-fil-A, if you see my video out there, please do a little something better, okay? Because $10 for a meal, I mean, the sandwich by itself was like $7, $8. That's nah, not a really a good deal. So, this is my opinion, okay? Pay $10 for this meal, might as well finish it, okay? So, make sure that you um 
write down in the comments <clears throat> what do you think about this place if you've been here before what they could could do better write down in the comment section and just tell me what do you guys think about it make sure that you like this video and subscribe to it and do what you gotta do man i love you guys thank you so much for checking me out today i'm your boy craig on the, the taste tester here in the beautiful town of fable georgia be good be safe and stay well